Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for being here today and congratulations to the winners of the competition. We are here this morning to understand the brutality of torture and how art can be used as a tool for raising awareness, particularly among the youth. The theme of this year's competition, Youth Against Torture, is a testament to the rising political engagement of the youth in Malaysia. Torture is defined as the infliction of severe pain or suffering, either mental or physical, by or with the consent of state authorities in order to gain information as a form of punishment or intimidation. The implication of such inhuman practices on the victims include post-traumatic stress disorder, severe anxiety and depression, among others. This is a clear indication that torture practices have no place in any society. It is universally recognized as one of the worst abuses a state can commit against persons under its care and has a corrosive, rippling effect on society. The EU is highly committed to combat torture worldwide. In the adoption of the EU Action Plan on Human Rights and Democracy for 2020 to 2024, the EU lays out its strategy to promote and defend human rights and democracy. The EU seeks to empower individuals, such as the young people here today, thus contributing to build resilient, inclusive and democratic societies and promoting a global system for human rights. Malaysia is a country with a fascinating multicultural society that sets it apart from others. The issue of torture seems to be very remote from the daily reality of this country. However, according to a Suakam report on custodial death in 2016, physical torture to extract information from detainees is still employed as a law enforcement's interrogation tactic, detached from the public eye during investigations and detention. It must be acknowledged that there is a very fine line between investigation and torture, and there is still work to be done to ensure that line is not crossed. Thus, the importance of having competitions such as the My Act cartoon uh, competition. Art is a powerful medium to challenge pro-torture narratives, as it is a medium that is accessible to all ages, culture, and languages. A risk of torture and ill treatment is always present in every country in the world. No country can claim that it has eliminated torture completely. Therefore, it is clear that countries should always look for effective ways to reduce the risk of torture and ill treatment in places of detention with hopes that it will lead to its complete elimination eventually. Malaysia's seat at the United Nations Human Rights Council for the 2022-2024 term is an enticing opportunity to further the anti-torture agenda in this country and to push for reforms that are more robust in the matter. The success of advocacy campaigns such as Cartoonist Against Torture proves that popular mediums such as cartoons are effective in raising public awareness and potentially counter narratives that condone such practices. It is also hoped that the artworks from this competition will aid the advocacy efforts towards Malaysia's ratification of the Convention Against Torture and Other Cruel, Inhuman or Degrading Treatments or Punishment, known as UNCAT. In closing, I hope that the participants have learned about torture practices in Malaysia and the government's efforts and attitudes towards preventing torture. I also hope that you will take this information and pass it on to others so that together we can raise further awareness of this important challenge. I wish you well on your future endeavors. Finally, I would like to express my gratitude for a job well done to Suaram and the Association for Prevention of Torture for organizing this competition. Have a good day, everyone, and a fruitful further discussion. Thank you. 